Bam bam bam. Bam bam bam. Bam bam bam. Excellent. <clears throat> Excellent connection. Excellent. Excellent connection. Not running the hard line right now. It's amazing. Oh my. Sounds great. Look at that. Excellent. All the ones and zeros. But I'm that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we have some interesting things today. Uh, this and this. Initialize the startup sequence. Let's initialize the startup sequence. A fun fact, the startup sequence initialization is uh, getting copy struck. <laughs> it's just a claim though, you know. There. I think that's a better volume for the background music. At least on the peaks. Cool, 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 cool. Here we go. Not receiving enough. I said upload speed. <clears throat> Do the upload. You know, I can see. Six. Yeah. is an insufficient amount of ones and zeros. Let's go. That's pretty low. Let's see what happens. Try that. Increase the bid rate. No. Interesting. I mean, this is working better when I was like... 44. I think that might be all we're going to get. Let's do... Did I literally just forget? Yeah, there we go. Let's do... One, two. And then we kick up to two, two grand. Okay. I don't know. Mornings are a little weird, I think. Whatever. Let's, let's just go ahead. We'll see what happens. Chop out the pat. Come on now. Dude, dude. Let's do teeny tiny. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. We pin that. Keep that on all the desktops. Move that around. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so we have a lovely little Pico. I don't know if you can see that. There he is. It's right there. Look at him. Look at him, blinking away. He's actually not blinking right now. This guy. This guy. Oh, check the volume. Hang on a sec. Space. So, we have a lovely little... Yeah, there we go. That's good volume. Alright, good. Yeah, our Pico here, uh, our Sykes Pico is uh, doing stuff, and the stuff it's doing is ones and zero stuff. Where's our oscilloscope? There we are. We are scoping, scoping hardcore, but we are also doing uh, Raspberry Pi assembly, which is over here. Yep. Yeah. We got uh, da, 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 da. this guy's cool. We have where is there it is the oh I don't need the assembler. We're getting started with the PIO. So Raspberry Pi has a, a programmable I/O on it, so you don't have to do weird bit banging stuff. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. 
and it, uh, oh, right, there you go. Uh, yeah, so Raspberry Pi has, the Raspberry Pi Pico has a PIO, programmable input output. It's got like little tiny state machines inside it, which is really cool. Uh, there's a programmer's diagram over here. Yeah, programmer's model. That's pretty cool. And the idea is that you can set a independent clock for it and have it do regular, you know, uh, transmission of data um, for things like you art and I squared C and not have to worry about matching the clock or having your CPU just hanging out for a long time waiting for the peripheral to communicate. So the idea is that with a, a little bit of assembly code, you can run some kind of cool stuff where you do typos. Um, no, F. Yep. F's in the chat, boys. Let's look at the... Squared C, PWM. Hmm. Actually, the PWM might be kind of interesting. It's... so... It's a little bit. It's kind of the clocked input. What's in there? Let's see. Okay, left input C, and we'll get the whoops. There you go. Okay, this is a. By the way, I'm still learning my July Mac, transitioning to Cole Mac, July Mac, whatever. So it's the struggle is real. <coughs> uh, right. So here we've got this is doing something. What is this clocked input? Okay. So this PIO has its own. Um, uh, that? Yeah, there we go. has its own assembly. See? So this is just waiting for a low. Oh yeah, here we go. Sample bits using an external clock. Push groups of bits into the RX to the receive transfer FIFO. In pin zero is data. In pin one is the clock. Auto push is enabled threshold eight. So this is the uh, accompanying C. So the C, I think you can embed the the Pico PIO assembly in here if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, come on, SPI blocking. So I'm kind of looking for the PIO instantiation because I'm having issues with this. Um, this output is not what I expect it to be. And I can, like, bitbang this, but that's not... <laughs> it's, like, literally designed so you don't have to do that. Let's, uh, let's mess around with that real quick here. Yeah. And then we go to the other Hello C. Oops. I have some mechanical thumb associations with space. I'm hitting this button. With the P because I normally hit this button with the P because P's over here. So I'm like same hand. Now I'm doing different hands with with July Mac here. So it's weird. <sighs> so we've got our yeah repeatedly blah, 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 repeatedly repeatedly get one word from the transmit FIFO stalling when the FIFO is empty. Write the least significant bit to the out pin group, and I'm definitely doing that. Uh, but it's not quite doing the rest of the things I wanted it to do because 10 is uh, what is a comment syntax for it's literally right in front of me uh, 10 is uh, 1010 zero, zero, and 5 should be 01 zero, 01 zero, yeah so this first, uh, the J H L, 
Oh, no, that's why. Okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. Um, so this should be H L. No? L? H L. There we go. Okay, that's that's better. That's better mechanically. H L H L. This should be the, the it's the least significant bit. The least significant bit is getting transmitted over here because this is a value that changes when the um This is the value that changes when it flips. But we've got this sleep, and I'm wondering if this sleep is... I don't think the sleep, because the sleep is in the main thread. I'm pretty sure the PIO, once it's instantiated, once it's initialized and enabled, um, which should be here, here, yeah. I'm pretty sure it just runs on its own, so it shouldn't really care about this. I'm just trying to get it to send more than uh, one bit. I'm trying to get it to send a byte and it ain't doing that so uh, so here's an example that what it's doing it is sending the least significant bit because i've got one zero or ten one zero she said been playing with hex too long i've got ten and five and uh, our output here is still the least least significant bit because i can flip this i mean it'll still it'll still flip um Let's, uh, let me just make sure I wrote this properly. Um, this is a hello PIO command. This command down here is changing to this directory, uh, running the make, and then copying the, the output, the UF2 file, to the appropriate Raspberry Pi folder, which I think you can still see. There it is right there. Okay. Let's... Yeah, now it's dead. We'll turn it on with that mode. Then it shows up as a disk, which is really cool, by the way. I don't know if you know this. And now we'll go ahead and compile and send the file. And now our square wave returns. But if I were to change this to something that has a... Uh, so this ends with a zero. This ends with a one on the least significant bit. We'll just change that to a one. Write that. Do the same thing. Um, rewrite. Shut it down. Shut it down. What's up? Build again. Now it stays high, high because it's got the uh, the least significant bit is still one on this one. So it is actually it's reading the bits, uh, but it's only reading one of them, and I'm not getting any kind of toggling action. And as proof of this. I could do one of these and then reset one more time. And hmm. The last one is a zero. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do that. Oh, wait a minute. This is our, our time scale is off. What if we do zoom in, enhance. Time base will reduce the time base. Increase the sample rate. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> The scope is also not that fantastic. Eh. I'm not sure if we're getting any ones and zeros in there. Let's find out. So I change this so that it ends with a one. Although this, this first one should probably not end with a zero. That. Reset. Goodbye. Over here. Press enter. Two too slow almost got it here we go now we're up and we've got little little wiggles here zoom out enhance or dehance enhance yeah there's there's some weird drops in there that's interesting increase this increase our step 
Come on, will you let me increase the sample rate while increasing the step? I think that's a negative. I got this doing this earlier. Forget what I did. Let's just undo. La 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 la. Okay, that was a good one. I think I did that. Was it the timing? Ooh, it's the timing. Yeah, let's do that. Oops. So, I don't think the timing is set in the PIO, but I also... You can set it here, which is a little confusing. No, not that. Here we go. That. Reset. We hear a press enter. Oh, I tried. Almost made it. Too soon. <clears throat> uh, did it? Did it do the thing? There's no up down. Wait, go here. Go here. We're ending on this, and then a wait, and then a five up. And it's up, but we want down. That should end with a one. Yeah, let's see what that does. Come on. Goodbye. Press enter right here. Did I just safely remove that? Is that what I did? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now we're doing stuff. Cooking with... Cook, cook stuff. Cook, cooking. Cooking with cooking. Uh, I think we're frozen. What's going on here? Increase the time base. Now it's not letting me? Hello? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. See, that still looks like... Going on this, this should be cycling at 1 kilohertz, or 1 megahertz. But it's not. It's snot. And I'm thinking I have some type of... I'm missing something here. Messing around with that. Okay, let's try that. I, I'm literally just trying stuff. This is not ideal. Then, don't need that. Since we're doing that, let's see if that has a more a more appropriate timing. <clears throat> Increase our time base. Come on. Oh. There we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. Let's decrease our time base. We've got our, our wiggles. These are our wiggles. I need to invert this. What is the hmm? What is the hmm? Let's 
But the question is, can we control this with our divider? Our clock divider. Oops. Wrong program. Get, get, get. get out of here. This is 16.7 megahertz on this on this cycle. Do number eight bits. There's some math here that I'm not mathing. E is here. You know that's <clears throat> okay. That's not enough. What oh, is? It is enough. Too many. Our timing here is a little bit too fast for my pieces. Uh, let's set this on the leading edge. Go back. Here we go. Not where I wanted to be. There we go. That should do it. For now. Perfect. Except for not staying up for... That's weird. Their time base. Oh. Ah. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> yes, we've got three. Three ones. One, one, one. I'm actually not sure why. Oh, is this blocking not? That was before it. Hmm. I might just be misunderstanding the the blocking nature. Um, also, might be misunderstanding this entire thing. <laughs> <clears throat> right. I'll save that. <coughs> Oops. Shut that off. Shut that on. For that thing. Hmm. See, I had a different value for this. Something, yeah. Something specific. 87658. Also, don't want it to. It's, this is what I'm talking about. We're, we're like, we're still actually just bit banging this thing, and it's not a good way to run it. Oh yeah, but I wanted to see if I could increase the time scale or increase rather. Yeah. So then here, staying active, staying high on that last bit. I 
I still wanted to do two bits. Hmm. So we only need to... Let's try to only mess with one thing at a time. Right that. Do it again. And right now. Nope. Too soon. I'm also compiling with like 12 cores, so... It finishes fast. See, these are not the same. Switch to Falling Edge. Enhance. Enhance. Too much. Too much enhancement. Uh, stop enhancing. There you are. Three. Four. On the falling Edge. Uh... Where, where you is, where you at? Uh, let's decrease. Switch to single. No, 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 no. Come on, I believe in you. You can catch one. Ah. I missed it. Ah, here we go. So, our timing here. I can't. Cole Mac cheat sheet is in the way. 22 microseconds. 22 megahertz. Oh, well, that's weird. Come on. Let me move the thing. I don't know if the graphics are messing up on this. This is kind of a tenuous application. <laughs> Just let me just let me drag. There we go. Yeah. The twenty two microseconds. Twenty two megahertz, I think. I know I know how numbers work. <clears throat> I say <coughs> eight seven six five eight. Back over here. And that is how many bits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Close enough. We'll pull 16. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I changed that to two. So the question is, is this any different? So what did I say? 22 megahertz. Go back. Let's zoom out. go undo that doing the thing hmm that looks a bit better I forget where I was. That looks like a inappropriate. Yeah. That's eleven megahertz. Yeah. So we have cut it in half. So this is reading two bits of data. Why is our up the same? Three bits of data. 
we should see a little bit longer trough before this, and one of those should actually have a thingy. You know, one of the thingies. Yeah, because one of these has actual data in it. Is this supposed to be pulling a 32-bit word? Um... Right, so if I set it to 3, it was 1, set it to 2, I'll set it to th on 2, the troughs were twice as long, which is correct. If I set it for 3, there should be twice as long of a trough, except for one of them, which should be... Where'd the calculator go? Calculator, come back. I didn't mean what I said. I have. And has. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, binary. So. Do. 16. Decimal, uh, back here. F, F's in the chat. Five, two, four, three, forty-three, sixty-nine, zero. <laughs> okay. They say God doesn't exist. We need three pins. Uh, two. Well, I mean, two sixteen. Go. That should end in a zero. Let's start with a one. And compile. Bonk. Emacs. Uh, so the the trailing is the zero. <coughs> what happens if I backspace? I do with that. Oh, the octal is five two five two five. <laughs> do decimal two one eight four five, and the ending should be a positive. Oops, where am I? Yink. But that's not. But there we go. No. Wait. This is going to end in a 1, which means the counter should be a 0, yeah. Yes. E? Oh, oh, I still got my T and R messed up. Alright, go back to that. We're still doing 16 bits. So these troughs should be... It's the time base. Yeah. Here's our trough between here. Here and here. Yeah, five milliseconds. Okay, so this should be a little bit more invert inverted inverted year. That's a word. Just made it up. Inverted year. Inverted year. Hello? Oh, there we go. Looks... It's ending on a one. No? Yes? Uh, must be one. 
start with a zero, one, two, and we're reading 16 bits, which means these values should be different and our clock hasn't changed at all. Mm, that's correct. Enhance. Hmm. Looks about right. Single. Come on, little thirty-dollar oscilloscope. I believe in you. Ha <laughs> ha. Just takes a few tries. Just getting. Just gotta get warmed up, eh? So, up. But there should still be some like bonus ones in here. What is this? Forty-five. 44 microseconds. Right, and that's twice as long as the last one. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. I expect more wiggling here. I feel like we're still just getting the least significant bit. <clears throat> it's just a one or a zero. So this is one, two, three, four dips. One, two, three, four, five. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do a double dip. The R. That's not an R. That's a T. One. Oops. Six. That should make it odd. Toggle our one. Here. Uh, Mike, Mike. There we go. Hello? What just happened? There we go. Compile. Yeah, now it stays low. Before this sleep. One, two, three, four. I still don't think we're getting the, the correct data out. Um, we pull, we out pins four. We've done this before. I don't get how we're not reading. It pulls an entire word and it bifos four bits. Unless I'm going the wrong direction. Lol, let's see what happens. Let's go back to that. We mismatch our least significant bit. Odd ending in five or one. And we'll Totally gonna work this time. Watch. Get ready. Prepare to be amazed.
Where is E? E. But the delay for the amount of bits is still accurate. No. Uh, not having this so far away. I'm closer. one dip and then this we are actually controlling the the speed no so step on the drop um actually this 90 microseconds I don't know how to count zeros it's some kind of standard going here I did this before. Hmm. Hmm. I check on stream here. Stream. Stream bitrate is lower than recommended. Okay. Music. Oh yeah, I should actually like check on it. Doop. Refresh, most recent, come on. Yeah, the bitrate is what the bitrate is. Come on. Don't don't be mean like that. Yeah, we're good. Cool. <laughs> Let's increase our step. Yeah, that's like a, a kilohertz. Oops. I heard this clocked input I was going to look at.
<laughs> yeah, so this should be a kilohertz, I think. I'm doing doing numbers. No one even knows how they work. I'm still outputting 32. This doesn't make sense to me. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we will do this. Come on back. There we go. Looks nicer. Frequency base. Go. Let's go. Sit over there. 1.4 microseconds. Hmm. It's either here or here based on the software. <laughs> That's five milliseconds. have a comment system here. I... Try defining it over here again. So this was the same value. Oops. Uh, three. It's about a thousand. Right. Try that. Should be the same. Right here, I think. This doesn't set the clock. It's why there we go. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a mic. Uh. Sorry, this is not a nose-blowing stream. Need to go somewhere else for that. Alright. And you'll be here. Looking for... Cycles per bit. I don't want the. There we go. 
<coughs> this is a place to set it. I'm just not understanding what our divisions are. Integer part is a divisor. Wait a minute. Bring samples data with rising clock edge. Do we need to do the auto push? I don't think that's right. Oh. Actual frequency in hertz. Sorry. Is that of the reference? I guess it does. Nothing here. <coughs> ah. 
<laughs> Mary. One point four milliseconds. Right, because that was that was my fault, right? Uh. Same rate. But Structure and like a run for full speed. Sure, clock up N will cause a state machine to run one cycle every N. Both of a small N. Pretty sure we're running at full speed. Five milliseconds. Hmm. <clears throat> Time is running out. 
Make a move. We can go on. It's running at 133. There's no change here. I am misunderstanding this documentation. fast <coughs> yeah a little too fast for my scope. So is this. I mean, technically, this should be... Rise. Twenty nine percent of the time it works. <laughs> thirty <laughs> one out of thirty. Right there. Right there. There we have four microseconds. Four megahertz. I'm not sure why, but if we... Oh, it's a... By the four... Is there, it's a divisor, I think. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a smart. I know how to do smarts. There we go. Go away. Come back. Do the thing. Ah, now it's four times longer. Ooh, so close. Yeah. I 
know how to type. That's not true. I've never typed before in my life. <laughs> Honestly, not sure what we're what we're doing here. Um, this doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Because we're doing this by each. I mean, technically, that's three instructions. Does the out on multiple pins increase the amount of cycles? Seems like it should. Oh, wait. Should be in this. No. Out shift bit counts shift bit by out shift out shift register, which we are filling with the poll, right? Load 32 word from TX50 to OSR, right? Uh, stall of empty. Additionally, increase output shift to. Enders and out mapping as described in this. Hmm. Many places shift. Oh, sorry, one to thirty two. That's correct. I mean, technically, if that were the case, I could do this. Uh, so I said this one is, was at four. This, were, this is our bit count, or our instruction count. So... That's right. Music. There we go. Oh, he didn't like that. So increasing this poll should actually change the value is. So right now, I did this by four. By this by four, it should be a one. This doesn't even pay attention to the fact that our release significant bit here, this this value should be staying for longer than that. But it does flip. Hmm. Times. Let's try that. Yeah, it looks like our teensy little one megahertz there. <clears throat>
a little under. Unless that's a scope. It's too fast, yo. <clears throat> I said when I did it like this, it should have the same amount of megahertz. So that should be... It's a divisor and it's running at 133 megahertz. It should be at 1 megahertz. Um, this might be easier on my scope, though. Let's zoom out a bit. Still want to be able to see it. There we go. Alright. One kilohertz. Not really. A little extra. It's not exactly four times either. Is it W? I mean, right? Oops. It's not going to work. Yank. Wait a minute. Wait, that does an error. Yeah. I can see it. It's so cute. Look at it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if this is an actual, like a proper value. Mm, close that. Close that.
W is here. That's super, super fast. A little too fast. Five, four, eight, five hundred forty eight megahertz. This is a clean signal, though. So this should be, still be, yep, microseconds, Jeez. too much, go back, what did I say? One point one megahertz. What's this? So currently there's a pull, there's a pin, and there's a jump. Let's uh go a little bit more. There we go. Same value. I might not be braining right right now. Mm. Yeah, let's see what we get. Um, but technically, there should be instruction yeah and a jump <clears throat> for a single bit should be three instructions we're going to double it we'll see what we get Why is this different than putting four? Say three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many is this actually? Ten lines. Our timing is still the same though, that's what's weird. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's see what happens. Okay, fun. Uh, 16 lines, okay. We've still got a 16 bit number here. Yes. With eight, it's starting with a zero, ending with a one. All right. Can you even have this much instructions? We're gonna find out. <clears throat> oh. 
Hello, Jess. How you doing? We're just sitting here struggling through the Raspberry Pi Pico assembly and the timing. Uh, okay, let's build. There we go. <coughs> Increase our time base. Our single. Look at that. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our timing here. Still 5.49 milliseconds. Still, why are we... This shouldn't matter, though. We should be able to... Do one of these. Uh, 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 at X fifteen, I think. Jump X minus. Might only do it once though. Well, let's find out. Catch the single. That's not. It's not a rising edge. Excuse me. It's not even. Come on. Is is the trigger that bad? The answer is yes. Um, well, you know, let's see what happens. Oh, I think I already got it. Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> We got a single. Mm, still got her five milliseconds. Inaccurate, sir. And that's half that. We're still only sending one out. I think it's block. He's still sending this. Weird.
Let's see what that does. The same thing. That's the right button. I know it's the right button. got this that's still accurate but our timing here at one millisecond I don't understand why we're not reading the same way here. These out pins should be doing the exact same thing. Out pins. Uh, did that error out? only do this once. Oh, I know. I know. And I see it bounce back. It's that least significant, but it's odd. This is on all the pin groups. Potato tomato.
So set. The long yank. Oh, uh, cup three. Yep. Nope. 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 Yep. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. See what that do. <clears throat> Interesting. Ease this up a little bit. Wait a minute. This drag here. Six point four milliseconds. This is a little, a little bit too much. Twice as big, it's not a hundred times as big. Your distance from here to here, 12 milliseconds. This is five. It might actually just be blocking at that point. Get some more useful timings here. Sixteen. It's five. Hmm.
Tamam. I think it's sending the right data. Same sizes. <laughs> Let's try that. So this looks closer. Looks like we've got space here. Yeah, that's right.
Oops. I don't know if those are valid. Bye. Oof. This, this trigger is not not good. That's fine. The thirty dollar scope. What do you What do you want? Uh-huh. Try that again. We're getting closer to a appropriate time. Yeah, see that's that's better. I'm sure I'm sure everything's okay. <laughs> this trigger, man. Individual 43 megahertz. Hmm. We've also got this, this bonus one sitting out here. Also set this to fifteen. Do our thing one more time. Oops. Do the thing. You know, we've, we've multiplied things significantly. Uh, 15. <laughs> Go back to that. We're not going to change more than one thing at a time. Because I, I do not yet grok.
It's kind of interesting. We've got one, and then there's a space here. Only for this loop. The pull? That's not right. The pulls a, pulls a 32 bit word, sends eight. This is eight, genius. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or our solo one hanging out there. Which is that. And it's sending eight of those zeros. to 10 and 5 this sleep I don't think it makes a difference but there is a delay before it fills up again I mean, technically it's inverted. R is right there. That's not R. Good. MB ones, two fours, two fifteen. This also might be dumping things in there. It doesn't need. Um, where's E? I know how to type. Let's test that out. Interesting. That would mean that this value point zero one this value here to here is point zero two. And here to here. Why is this negative? Oh, that's the relative number. 
Okay. That might have been confusing me. 1.3. This is 1.1. That means this one should be 1.3. And it is. Okay. All right. So now we're sending data. I don't understand why we're not sending. I'm just curious. I don't think this is going to work, but let's see. Not seven bytes, though. What is that? There's a special wrap function. Pretty sure there it is.
It's the same value. It shouldn't make a difference. It's the same amount of CPU cycles. Or PIO cycles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sure, why not? Hmm, it's supposed to be doing sixteen bits though. It ain't 16 bits. <clears throat> hey, Dejan and Gary. How's it going? <laughs> it sure would be nice to check on YouTube right now. <laughs> YouTube is a serious time sink, man. If you... Uh, I'm not encouraging you to waste time on YouTube. But I am extremely interesting. <laughs> uh, we're just doing some... Uh, so, R Raspberry Pi has a Pico device. The Pico device actually has some programmable I.O. And it has, like, a tiny little state machine inside. Uh... And you can use it for handling external clocks and things. It's kind of overkill, but it's really kind of interesting to me. So I'm messing around with it and having trouble with the timing and figuring out how to make it send bits. Bits and bytes, actually. Hence this uh, 16 out pin commands. So... Actually, at 16 bits, we don't really have... Where is our calculator? Here we go. Yes, to um, do something interesting. One 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 zero one 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 zero. Uh, let's do zero one zero. 
the zeros on either side, a three, a two, and a one. And that comes up as decimal 237. Still eight bits. Let's do four. Three, two, one. Try that. Not quite 16 bits, but seven, 79, 17. And leave that 15 block in there for fun. Let's do that. Reload. We have four, three, two, one. So that looks about right. Is this inverted? We're going the wrong direction. I think we're going the wrong direction. No, 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 smaller. Okay, there we go. Cool. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> so as we feed across, we've got a 1, a 0, a 2, a 0, a 3, a 0, and a 4. Which means we're feeding in this direction. A one, a two, a three. A one, a two, a three, a four. <clears throat> uh, going pretty well. Uh, Dejan, how, hey man, how are things with you? I uh, love working on Raspberry Pis. Uh, yeah, it's going pretty good. Uh, I'm still working on that YouTube fast. It's been, uh, it's been productive. I've been introducing, uh, trying to keep other people's thoughts out of my head. So like uh, I have lags and stuff that I review because there's stuff that I haven't figured out yet or stuff that I'm working on or stuff that I want to work on. So if I do listen, I'm listening to myself and I'm usually not listening with these headphones because I'm actually curious if the headphones are <laughs> are part of it. I, I don't know. There's weird uh, outcomes I've had from not YouTubing. So I'm my interest is peaked. I'm actually curious. <clears throat> what is that? Oh yeah, the Raspberry Pis are Raspberry Pis are a lot of fun. Um, it's important to know, you know, what you want it for. Is that blocking the camera? Nope, I guess not. Yeah, as long as you know what you want it for, you can do uh, you can do good stuff with it. Um, I gotta be honest, the the PIO on this is on this Raspberry Pi um, Pico is crazy. The potential there is is huge. And I don't know of anyone else who worked on it or who, who did it. So it's kind of like they just said, wouldn't it be cool if we could do something like this? And they figured it out, which is really, really cool. <coughs> I've noticed you're using a trackball as well. I have several trackballs for different use. Yeah, uh, I have... I think I have four of these at this point. This is a M570. Uh, pretty inexpensive. Pretty inexpensive on Amazon right now if you want to send Jeff Bezos your money. Um, but you can get them other places and I would recommend it anyways. But uh, I actually had one for a number of years. I'll have to look, check the date. But I wore one out the other day and I had, I had to replace it. So I had a spare. <laughs> It's probably a bad solder joint because if you click and hold down, like if you push hard, it drops out, like it loses the click, which is very frustrating. But it probably just uh, the solder joint's bad or the PCB wore out or something. So I set it aside. If I get some time, I'll take it apart and fix it. I never used to use mice at all. And once I got this trackball, I wanted to try it out. And I was like, wow, this is this is quick. I like this. 
Um, I have also used the, there's a later version of this. It's not the 570, it's like the 575 or something like that. Um, I've used that for about a year. I use that at work exclusively. And it is, uh, I believe it is better than this one. Yeah, I, I wanted to not like it, but I think it is actually better. Especially for sitting where your wrist is at kind of a lower angle, lower angle of approach. The The newer version has a, less of a slope on this, and the front kind of comes out more. It's, it's just a better ergonomic fit. Plus it supports Bluetooth as well, and you can flip between them, which is pretty... It's pretty useful. I mean, if you're going to carry stuff around, like, you know, carrying my keyboard back and forth and stuff, I might as well be carrying a mouse as well. <laughs> uh, Dejan, I use Raspberry. Sorry. I use Raspberry Pi as a daily driver. Other than my workstation for work. Arch, by the way. IW3M. It's a blast. Has the same problem with the Logitech click issues. Yeah, and I've... I've heard complaints about, like, Logitech, uh, don't make them like they used to kind of thing. It's probably true. Yeah. It's probably true. Um, everything's just more disposable now, and that's, that's the whole economies of scale argument. If you have a if you make a mouse that 90% of your users are not going to outclick, they're going to use it until it wears out and then they're going to throw it. Or they're, they're going to use it for a while and they're never going to wear it out. Technically, making something that is that lasts longer than that is overproduction. It's technically waste. But when you have the, the heavy users, they're, they're just going to buy a new one. So... You know, it's like you win both ways. You get to make it cheaper, and you get to get people to buy more by making the product poorer. Ta-da! <clears throat> you also have the marble for the Raspberry Pi 4, which is on the table. I don't know what that is. The Raspberry Pi 4 marble? Or is that the, the trackball marble? The, the one with the big trackball in the middle? That one's pretty cool. I haven't used one of those middle trackball ones. I assume it would be pretty good. I can actually get my thumb like this, this thumb motion that actually can wear me out. And I've had to switch to other mice like midday or something like that if I'm doing a lot of graphical work. But generally, I'm just kind of flicking back and forth with the mouse. So it's not a lot of overly precise movements. This is kind of weird. It's kind of bugging me. Um, it is um, unexpected that you use a uh, Raspberry Pi 4 as a daily driver, though. That I have. Uh, well, actually, if you're using the 64-bit OS, um, that's pretty usable. I mean, it really depends on what you're using or what you're doing with it, but uh, I have had problems in the past with uh, the Raspberry Pi 4s just trying to use it as a daily driver. Is this my 15? It's my 15. It's not on 20 16 6 how many bits is that um yeah i had i had little gripes with the, the raspberry pi 4 but 6 oh it is 65535 <laughs> I was like, I, th I think it's 65535. I forgot how many uh, 
How many numbers? How many bits that is? Yeah, I, I used it for a short while for browsing. I'm, I'm actually also pretty hard on my computers, so it's not... It's not a complaint about the Raspberry Pi, I'm just kind of aggressive, and if there's not a lot of RAM, I'm, I'm gonna use it up, and I'm gonna be waiting. I don't like waiting. So, once we switched to the Raspberry Pi 64-bit OS, I started to get a lot better... And more reliability, a lot better performance. I really like the 64-bit OS. Mm. Oops. Do the thing. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, so here's a... Uh... Come on. There we go. That is... Yeah, so that's... Two milliseconds. Two kilohertz. Where are we? So two, thanks. Back out of that. So a word, a word is six, five, five, three, five. Binary, yeah. And what was the thing? Oh yeah, um, two. Hertz. That would be Hertz. And then sixteen. Dip. Uh. Uh. The. I'm RPN calculating. Six. Where was it? No. Where are you? There you are. No, technically it's milliseconds. Yeah. Point one two five megahertz. That's per click or per clock. Output. Wait, that's right. Yeah. Get out of the way. That's still 16. Plus one. <coughs> plus two. Who's got a pull? Still pretty ridiculous. I said that loop. That loop worked. I'm actually kind of curious if that works the same. What did I say? 16? 7? X? No. 16? So do the do the thing again. Here we go. That. Come on, computer. You can do it. I believe in you. Do the thing. Be the same value. It's not. Should be two instructions. It actually should be double. And it is. It is double. So there should be four milliseconds. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I mean, like three point eight nine five. That's close enough. Amazing. Uh, let's set this a little bit lower. <coughs> and we're gonna catch it. Let me, let me, let me catch the thing. Oh, go down. That's not okay. Well, we'll we'll do this. 
should be 4 milliseconds, 3.91. This is a little short. I don't think this is a an even division right here. We're still getting the right number. On the jump. Unless we do... I think that'll pad it out properly. It should double things even more. Um... Yeah. Do that. Measuring this... Length right here. Wait, four. I keep looking at the wrong number. Here. We know two milliseconds smaller. Much better. Our, our vertical here. I think there's an extra clock cycle in there. Yeah, because we're losing the one. Should be like right there. Huh. Actually, it doesn't matter right now. I just want to see if it, if it scales up properly. That's point f four four milliseconds, pretty much. Add the delay. Go away. Compile and load. It should be eight, but I don't think it is. It's five. That's interesting. Here. Sending out the pin. And it's delaying in a single. Still doing 16. It's doing it for each one. Hmm. This might be a little bit easier to read. Um, that would be like what's half of six five five three six or what? Or a binary. Hey, come on. Might be a little easier to read. Oops. Three two seven six nine. A little weird. Pause. I believe in you, little Raspberry Pi. That's interesting. Not the it's not the right drop though, is it? These don't look right at all. What did I say? It was, it was one, two, and three, but it's not doing that.
Crap. Uh. See, this has the right timing. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Um. Trackball, Marble Mouse, no scroll, by the way. Yeah, that's a little weird. I remember realizing that. I do actually use the scroll a lot. I have the old mouse. You can see all the... Where it's worn down from all the scrolling. <laughs> Using 64-bit for the purpose of light web browsing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can do 1080p YouTube. If you want to. A massive... You have a massive fan for it? <laughs> you were taking the Raspi for granted. 20 years ago, people had PCs the size of a fridge. With the same specs. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it's all... Too many layers of software right now. There's actually a little... Where is it? It was here. I don't think I'll be able to find it. It's up here. Uh... Right, it has some kind of comment in here about that. There it is. <clears throat> uh, this is talking about uh, bit banging audio with an IRQ. It says, doing that on a PC nowadays is laughed at, even though there are many orders of magnitudes faster than they were back then. As processors have become faster in terms of overwhelming number crunching brute force, the layers of software and hardware between the processor and the outside world have also gotten also grown in number and size and I would say in complexity so that's the this is the what is it the that that supposedly exponential curve of how the computers are just getting faster and faster oh man this bugging me I don't you know what I'm talking about I want to say Maslow's hierarchy of numbers, but that's not right. <laughs> Moore's law. Yeah, Moore's law didn't know about uh, Moore's law didn't know about my my layers of software. <clears throat> but I thought that was a pretty good point. Here, <laughs> this is actually this. Is, uh, I've never read. Um, you know, like data sheets that have little jokes in them. So this is kind of fun. It would be a lot funner if this thing worked more reliably. <coughs> yeah, I forgot about that. It still seems like it should have another... Another bit of data here. But I don't want to leave it on the timer. Yeah.
Yeah, that's better. This still means our individual sends are not fast enough. These are actually kind of slow. Yeah, 200 megahertz. But they say two hundred megahertz, two hundred megahertz. Just send one bit, one instruction, and then the jump. It's a little longer. I guess it's a pull command too. It's the pull and the jump. That would mean that it's a third longer or twice a third or 50% longer. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're, we're, we're starting to figure this out. Making sense here. The pull is a single... Oh! That's why. It pulls every time. And every time it pulls, it reads the, the FIFO into the, uh, the shift register. And if it pulls every time, it's not going to be able to do the, the thing. Where's the thing? It stop. Okay. That's why. Every time it pulls, it's overriding the uh, the shift register. Uh, for joining, clock dividing. Yeah, I want a different. Pull. I want to pull only if in, in by source. Source can be shift control threshold. No. Well, the blocking if the arcs FIFO is full, right?
Ha ha ha! Ha ha! What's the actual syntax for that, though? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I know my letters. If it... M P T Y. Got it. This should actually do the thing. Because I could do that. And we'll do the zeros. And it'll be cool. And then we won't even need this break in here. It'll be 16 zeros. Yes. Yes. Uh, it works. It works. Oh, wait. You hear me gloating before it actually works. This is this is fine. I'm sure this will work just fine. This doesn't actually have to be that big, does it? Yeah, it kind of does. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Off. This will be two clock cycles. No. It sends the bits on a single clock cycle. Let's see what it does. I may have gloated too early. I think that might be necessary. No, it's getting the data. empty out oh, with auto pull would stall Escape! Run away! I don't know what's going on. B W B W B E back B E. There we go. G U. I don't think that should make a difference, but. I mean, stranger things have happened.
a There we go. <coughs> yeah, it's just increasing the delay here. Hmm. Fucking okay. well, no data is available. Up as it comes in. Hmm. Auto pull is enabled. Any pull instruction is a no op. Exterior. Oh, it always pulls from the shift register. Yeah. So output shift bit count. Saturating at 32. If direction is right. Otherwise, most significant bits. Destinations. I don't get it. It should be sending out how many bits to shift out. Your team is encoded as five zeros. Need the least significant bit to the right. Hmm. Oh. I still don't understand why this is not the same as this. This writes all the bits properly. And that's unaffected by the if empty. Unless it dumps the bits at full speed or something. That's each instruction.
Uh, I gotta think about this. So 114 megahertz. 220. Uh, 214. These peaks to peak, though, still be. Come on now. Yeah, 100 megahertz. That's our value. Yeah, I gotta think about this some more. It's clearly something off here. Missing something. Two bit values written destination. Also, these other examples here don't even have multiples on the out. It's just like an individual with a jump. Optional delay. Hmm. Right the first time. There. Well, that's weird. Something in my shortcuts broke that. Hang on. Let's get a complete. One forty total. Okay. They say 140 megahertz or 140 microseconds, 280. Yeah, so that's perfect. That's got the same amount of delay. Uh. 
It's still weird. <laughs> Alright, I gotta take a break and think about this. Uh, stretch my back. <laughs> Catch you all later. <laughs>